Pocono County High School football team feels like it's been building to this year for a while. The team reaches the three-win mark a year ago and is now in the third year under the current coaching staff. The Braves are the next stop on our high school football tour. WCBI 60 Schools in 60 Days is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. And Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point. Experience is a strength for the Braves. The team only loses three or four starters from last season and has a huge senior class, 13 guys. Tishomingo County says this is the year to make a run. Most of the seniors that we've had this, that we've got this year have been playing together since they were sophomores. They've started since they were sophomores. They've been in the, the fire. They've seen it. They've been through it, so they kind of know what to expect going into this year. That's defensive coordinator Ryan Finch, who's under head coach Preston Leathers. It's a staff that says it's been trying to alter the mindset of those in and around the program. With a school like Tishomingo County, where there's not been just a, a tradition of success, we have to pretty much start from the ground up, trying to do things the right way, try to change the culture around here try to build a winning attitude, not just in the school, but in the community also. The players say they've been happy with the program's direction. It's been tough, but they've stuck through it all with us, and that's part of it, and we just got to keep going. It's definitely been building. Ever since I got here, we've, we've started out pretty weak, and we've built up each year. If this is a year, it's it, and we got to go. This is our biggest senior class. They've been pretty awesome. I've had a great experience playing football for this team, and we've been working hard all past three years. I'm very excited. We're looking to do big things this year. I mean, this is our year. I mean, we're mostly seniors and we're we starting a lot of seniors. And it all starts in here. We all work hard in here and we just carry it over to the field. Here being the weight room. That's important because this team will not have a lot of depth. The Braves have 55 total players, which is not a high number for 4A. Ninth graders will play this year and at least 10 guys will get reps on both sides of the ball. I feel like depth is definitely an issue. Uh, competing in 4A, we're a lot of teams, they don't have to platoon people. Um, it's it's going to be tough for us because we the kids that we've got on offense, they probably a lot of them are going to turn around and play defense, and then they're going to turn around and play special teams. So, uh, trying to get the younger guys developed and at, to, at a point where they can contribute is going to be our biggest task this year. We're going to have to outwork everybody. That we have less people and less talent than everybody. And we understand that. That's why we're in the weight room every day and working our tails off on the field and off the field trying to get better where we can play both sides of the ball on Friday night. Braden Maxey is coming back at quarterback. The Braves say their goal is to get a win in the playoffs. They have not been to the postseason since 2008. They start their year hosting Mantachi August 19th. 60 schools in 60 days with Tishomingo High School was brought to you by Farmers and Merchants Bank.